What's up guys, Mike the Cop. Since I've done my video in the past on what I had on my duty belt, a lot of people have asked, well, what is it that you carry when you're not working, your everyday carry? So I've laid it all out on the table here. Let's talk about it. I got you, yeah. I, 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 will, I will defend my brothers, I will defend the weak. I will pursue and fight evil so others may sleep. I am the sheep dog, protecting the night. Wolf hunters unite, bring it all. It's time to fight. I actually don't think that I carry uh, a ton of stuff on me. I'm, I'm not sure that you're gonna find this too crazy interesting. And one of the reasons that I've held off doing this video for so long is because I never really wanted it to come across infomercially uh, or, or too salesman-like. Hi, Billy Mays here with Zorbies, the most absorbent material I've ever used. It has the strength and the muscle to pick up and hold over 20 ounces of liquid. Look at this. Because I carry products that I believe in, so um, whether I sell it on my site or whether I'm telling you where I got something from, these are things that I believe in or I wouldn't carry them. All right, first thing, I mean, obviously I have a gun, but this is actually more practical to me than having a firearm. If, if I could only pick one thing to leave the house with, it would be a knife. There's a couple of reasons for that. First, it's just, way more convenient to carry around, and it's more useful for everyday tasks that you're gonna run into. I also find it to be an excellent close quarter combat weapon. Most people do not train in close quarters with firearms. There's a lot to consider when it comes to that. The weapons that you have for concealed carry, uh, as far as handguns go, in a lot of the situations where maybe there's an active shooter or, or other things, there's a lot of considerations to take in terms of not only the training you have, but the ability of that weapon for the job, but overall for basic self-defense, I would choose, if I had to, which I am fortunate that I don't, but if I had to, I would choose this knife. First knife that I carried for a lot of years uh, when I you know, carried it on the road and off duty was a SOG Flash 2. Until I went to Police Week last year and this company Ravencrest Tactical hooked me up with a knife and I've been carrying it ever since. So this one is <laughs> obviously Fun, fun to play with uh, because it is a switchblade, essentially. The cool thing is that Michigan, where I live, just made these legal again whenever they, I don't know when they became illegal, but they've been, been illegal for a long time. Uh, so the SOG Flash was my go-to before, uh, and now this is what I've been carrying every day without fail. So very useful, very practical. This is the smaller one that they have, and they have uh, obviously um, varieties of types of blades and things like that. So check them out. I am gonna do a custom one um, with some of my imagery that I have on t-shirts and stuff on the back of the knife. But the other thing that I like about this, just real quick, that's very practical is the window punch. It can be like a hold on a keychain or something like that. I'm not a big keychain guy, but the window punch is a cool feature to have on a knife. My producer has said I've been saying um a lot. I apologize. Next thing is the gun. I have over the years carried a variety of makes of firearms and calibers. So what I've been carrying since it came out is the Glock 42. I had to be able to qualify with this as a backup weapon with the same state course as a regular issued weapon. So this gun shoots for me as well as a full-framed firearm. I have found this to be an awesome shooting weapon that has not given me any problems at all. I am a fan of Glock. This isn't a paid advertisement for Glock. I am a fan of Glock though because breaking this down and putting it back together is as simple and identical no matter what size Glock that I happen to be using at the time. I uh, really like this gun. have a couple of mags with me. Obviously one's gonna be in it and one will be around somewhere else, whether in my pocket or in the car. The thing that I want to stress to you is uh, if you are carrying a weapon concealed or open, carry with the round chambered in the weapon. Don't do this nonsense where you have to charge the weapon if you're going to have to use it. So as far as everyday carry is concerned, make sure the weapon is ready to go. Uh, otherwise, what's the point? A couple of holsters. This is the usual one. It's a simple Blackhawk holster. I, there's no model number on there. I just got this at a gun shop. It fit nicely in the cargo pocket of my duty pants. And it has this little band in here that keeps the holster in the pocket when I would draw the firearm out with my offhand. I like that, or it can go in the waist, it can go in a pocket. 
Uh, it's designed for the pocket. I like this holster a lot and it was like 10 or 11 bucks. If uh, I'm gonna be out and about for a little bit of a longer time, I have, I got this from Crown Holsters. I think they're in Big Rapids, Michigan. And I got these uh, belt clips with it. It's Kydex, uh, slides in there uh, and is stays nice and secure. But the thing that I normally had used this holster for was that it goes inside the waistband, but then you could bend these clips back and you could tuck a shirt in. So you could actually wear uh, a dress shirt with it. So when I did dress up, this was uh, the holster that I would use. But most of the time I'm just using this one. Next thing, and actually my new favorite is from a company called Ready Man. And this is what they call the EDC defense tool. It's awesome. It looks harmless. You can put it on your keychain. Again, I'm not a keychain guy, so I just carry this in my pocket since I've gotten it. Essentially, you slide the finger through, your index finger through the, the circle, and you can grip the rest of this this way. And you can do a couple things with it. Clearly, this uh, pointed end there is not something you would want to get hit with. And then on the back end for a hammer fist, uh, whether it was an emergency window punch or whether that was the strike that you were delivering to someone. As a defensive tool, this is awesome. It can do some pretty cool things. All right, go. That's right, a bottle opener. That's important for everyday carry. I do not carry this in my pocket, uh, but I do carry this in my truck. This is something that is uh, valuable. It's the Rats Tourniquet. You can uh, view the video on my website online about the proper use for this, like how to do it in three easy steps. So if you're not familiar with tourniquets or their value, definitely look into that. They're great for yourself in an emergency. They're great to apply to someone else in an emergency. As a police officer, keeping it uh, in my gear, somebody can grab this and use it for me. I can use it on one of my partners if needed, or uh, I could roll up on an accident scene or the victim of uh, some type of violent crime, and if a tourniquet was applicable in that situation, then I have one that can be rapidly applied. So the RATS tourniquet, awesome addition to something that I have on hand every day. Finally is a flashlight. This is something that I think is not thought about enough as far as self-defense or everyday carry. This one is a TAC wear, uh, 950 lumens. I've switched to this instead of the smaller stream light. I do have a, a smaller size stream light, which I use their, their full size flashlight with uh, a Busta cap for a window punch uh, when I'm working. But outside of that, this is really nice because it's got three modes to it. And it has, don't, I mean, am I gonna give you a seizure? Strobe. <laughs> you have a little knob here that you can turn to strobe, to high beam, and low beam. You can know whichever mode you set it on when you push the button, that's what's gonna happen. So this has been uh, really beneficial and it comes with uh, different caps on the back depending on how you wanna use it. I have obviously the, the belt mount, but you can mount this on a firearm. There's a lot of uh, practicality to that. But people don't think about this because strobe light on someone who is a potential assailant or who is uh, trying to victimize you is a very uh, powerful and effective tool. So it's something that not a lot of people think about for an emergency situation or, or a self-defense situation. Flashlights are great tools. That is essentially what I carry around on a day-to-day -day basis uh, on the average. One or all of these things, depending on what I'm wearing or where I'm going. These three newest additions to my EDC, the defense tool, the tack wear light, and the tourniquet, all are provided uh, for me through my website from Ready Man. Uh, awesome quality products, and uh, I'll tell you what, this is this is something that you want to get your hands on if you can, and add that to your repertoire. I don't know if this was boring. I don't know if it was interesting. It just is what it is. If you have questions about what I carry, anything that I mentioned in here, if you have suggestions, uh, if you want to tell me why your Batman uh, rig is better than mine, go ahead in the comments. I'll see you out there. Oh. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button for my channel. If you want to find me off of YouTube, you can always add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, like my Facebook page, and if you really like me, you can also check out my store or my Patreon page. I almost forgot. I also carry a flashlight.